trying to deal with me. Okay, cool, you can sell that C. It's the newest stadium on the NFL landscape, and it might just be the grandest as you get a look at SoFi Stadium here in Inglewood. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Chargers. Brett Maher is set to kick off. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in week five on EA Sports. Taken about seven yards deep, and they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Second and six at the 29-yard line. From the gun, a run with Mostert. They'll have a first down past the 40. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Niners have taken the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Mitch Wisnowski to kick off for San Francisco. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Taken at the 15, a short kick. Oh, a good return up past the 30. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 34-yard line. Going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at the 34. They'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38 yard line. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Now a handoff looking right. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it. Brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. From the gun, Herbert on third down. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he goes down, but not before getting the 
inside the 25. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. The 24 yard line. On first down, Justin Herbert looking for Allen. He's got him on the slant. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, it was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Herbert. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Closed quickly. It helped force the incompletion. A 23-yard attempt. The kick by Meyer is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And their own 22-yard line. set to get this drive underway. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. They'll run for the first time with Jarek McKinnon. And he's got some space here. It's a big play there from a big play guy, Jarek McKinnon. 43 yards. Well, welcome to the party. First carry of the game. How about that? And just think, as far as he's concerned, he's just getting warmed up. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. Flush to his right, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Joey Bosa able to record his fifth sack of the season. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Escaping the pressure right. Open man is IU complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal.
Here's Mostert. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. San Francisco. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the 49ers add six to their lead. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Makes the score, Niners 14, Chargers 3. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Taken at the 15, a short kick. But a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches have been these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how the drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 14 yards is the pickup there and a Charger first down. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front. And they are able to get their pat. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off on the 27, and the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. They're trying to resurrect his confidence. Last week was a disaster. Five interceptions in that loss, and another pick there. I played with a quarterback like this before, and he had a tough game, and the head coach said, I'll take him, I'll fix him. The very next game, he started out the exact same way. And the head coach turned to the offense coordinator and said, he's yours from now on. <laughs> Someone has to take responsibility and work with him and try and get him settled. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. Now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. Flushed out right. And he's going to keep it here. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. It's now second and six at the 33-yard line. Time to his left. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Brought down by Drew Tranquil. A two-yard gain on the play, and it's third down. Now back to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he will maneuver 
his way down to about the seven. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Now they try the right side here. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Rohrwasser's kick is good. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to that drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made him kick the field goal, and he had points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. So unable to get any yardage at all off of the screen there. And a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. take over so that now two consecutive drives that have ended in interceptions you wonder if he's trying to do a little too much out there oh i like where you're going with that that maybe he's pressing it a little bit trying to be too fine with his throws or maybe overestimating his arm it could be a combination of all of those things in any event he's got to get it figured out in a hurry this is caught and oh so close as he takes it all the way to the two yard line a big play there for the Niners. 41 yards. Here's first and goal, and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. They'll run with Moster. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Raheem Moster on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the 49ers add on to their lead. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Makes the score. Niners 24. Chargers 3. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Taken in the end zone. And no return here for Reed. This will be a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. Now right now, under 100 yards of total offense. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. 
The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Herbert now on second down. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. At the 42-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, Herbert. And Herbert, his third interception. Picked off at the 25. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 46-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And a gain of four gets them right to the midfield stripe. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, the Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half, and they trail as we get back underway. And the half will begin with a touchback. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Off of play action, he'll look to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. That'll be complete to Cook. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now it's Herbert. of the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. At their 49-yard line. They'll fake the handoff, now Herbert. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. Second down, Eckler, and he'll be taken down at the 34. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. A gain of a yard on the play brings up third and four. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. It's fourth down. They snap it to Herbert. And that is going to be incomplete. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. 
Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and ten. Swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Brings up second and eight at the 47-yard line. They'll drop the throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 yards there, first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Executed 22 yard game. First down, San Francisco. Back to the running game with Mostert. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the Chargers 13 yard line. They'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Complete. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it second and goal. And goal at the three-yard line. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. It's the fullback with his first career NFL touchdown. Here the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Makes the score, Niners 31, Chargers 3. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Three quarters have come and gone. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Chargers three. The Chargers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and three. Out of the gun, Herbert. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. This pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up at the 49. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. 
That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost as if they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game? Well, they've said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's caught by his running back, Raheem Mostert. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. The first down screen pass, good for five. Second and five from the eight. The Chargers' eight-yard line. It's a 49er touchdown Just a from eight yards out. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 38, Chargers three. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Taken in the end zone. And no return here for Reed. This will be a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. On first and 10, Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And they work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Give him 12 yards there. The Chargers have a first down. First and 10. At the Here's Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. Good move at the 30. And he's going to get this inside the 30. This duo locked in. 14 yards there. And a first down. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution. They are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. He was looking for Mike Williams that time. And that'll bring up second down. And 10. Throwing again. Herbert. Jackson with a completion over the middle. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 13-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Herbert operating from the red zone. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, his fourth touchdown of the year. And the Chargers are able to strike for six. And on that one, Able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. And they're on 20 yard line. The 
49er offense set to get this drive underway. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. They'll look to throw now on first down. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. A picked off by Nasir Adderley, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Jordan Willis. Just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And this one incomplete. Much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Play action. It's Herbert. He's going to let it fly. It got his man complete. And he's going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And finally taken down at the 15. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Chargers first down. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Eluding the prank. And he's going to go down again. Pass rusher extraordinaire D Ford that time getting the sack. Brandon, that's just football one on one if you're out of the pocket. You've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two minute drill. Chargers 10. Well, as always, partner, an extreme pleasure to share a booth with you. I, I have to say, I am impressed at your discipline because you came here and you said you were not going to eat any of the media buffet. <laughs> you made it to the end. You didn't consume a single calorie. I appreciate that. What you missed is me going to the concession stand outside of your eyesight and getting it done cheated. that way. Look, I mean, they were serving the good stuff. I had to do it. Oh, man, but you're, you're spelled in good shape. But, yeah, you cheated a little bit. We'll let it slide. I appreciate that. Always a pleasure to work with you. She back at me.